Right, uh, sorry about the wait. It's been a bit uh, busy, uh, projects all over the place. Um, got engaged as well, um, plus a few motorbikes in and out. So it's been a little while since I've uh, put anything out. Sorry about that. This project has t turned into a bit of a longer term project than I anticipated, but um, you know, we're going again. So we're going to pick up where we left off last time. Um, I just finished uh, a successful molding of one of the uh, intake adapters in the uh, forged carbon fiber. Um, I was happy with that, so I went ahead and did another one, and then another one, another one, uh, completed the set of four, um, and then um, did some finishing work on them, including machining and producing some um, inserts, because uh, I decided um, I don't think I trust the O-rings to seal on the carbon fiber, so I put some aluminium inserts for O-ring seals and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll take a look at that, and then I'll show you how they turned out.
Mm. Right, so here's the fun bit. Um, time to see if it all fits together. Um, I've done the modification down here, the crankcase mod, I've actually mounted the uh, little mounting for the um, crank, crankshaft position sensor, so that's done. Um, I think now it's just all that remains is to see if these little guys will actually fit on the engine and everything lines up. So I think that's what we're going to do next. Um, Hope for the best. I don't know if you can see, you probably won't be able to see from there, but these holes, the mounting holes, I've actually made them a little bit oversized just so that um, there's a little bit of um, wiggle room to make sure that everything lines up. But yeah, that should fit right there. Yeah, so there is a bit of movement there, just so I can make sure that the port lines up. That looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. All right, we'll, ca we'll carry on and do the others. It's pretty close. There isn't a lot of room to maneuver around here. You might have noticed that um, I've also started preparation for painting the engine uh, the, uh, the cylinders now been sandblasted yeah the alignment's pretty good right then the uh, rubber connectors let's get some hose clamps on Don't stab your own foot. Come look here if you want. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, love. This is going in the video. Yeah, it is. <laughs> right, that looks pretty good. Um, oh. It's pretty close. Everything's so close. There's barely enough space to get um, to get these rubber connector pieces in there, and the hose clamps literally riding up against the insert for the uh, fuel injectors. But if it all fits, it all fits. So who knows? We'll find out soon enough. Right, so the other the other uh, hose clamps need to go on, and then you can see if we can actually fit the throttle bodies on. Stanley, what are you doing? <sighs> Naughty little bastard. Might need a bit of lubricant on that, because that's, as usual, quite tight. What? What is it? What do you want? Go on then. He's only little. That's on. That's on. That actually seems to fit. So I think... I'm going to do up these hose clamps just to make sure that they don't cause any problems anywhere else because this is one of those things where if you don't check everything something's going to be a, a problem later. So we'll do these up but that's on even without any lubrication it's, it's well lined up. It looks great actually. And once we've done these hose clamps up we can just make sure that everything's nothing's binding on anything and the throttle throttle body still operate. But that looks good. That looks really good. Yep. Nothing's in the way of anything else. Now 
will these injectors fit on? I guess we're about to find out. I haven't got the O-rings on the injectors because I do want to polish these injector ports a tiny bit, these inserts, before we actually fit them. Look at that. Look at that. Spot on. Line up absolutely perfectly. Yeah, very happy about that. So I've still got these uh, 3D printed little temporary brackets for clamping the fuel injector rail to the uh, throttle bodies, but that'll get replaced with something else. I don't know what yet. Probably just a bit of bent aluminium. But yeah, that's well in place. Looks nice and secure. Very happy with that. That looks, that looks good. Well, we may as well go ahead and make sure that these air filters fit. I'm still, I mean, there's so many unknowns here. I don't know if I'm going to use these. I might go and make an air box. I don't know. I mean, an air box would mean um, I've got somewhere to put the, um, the air sensing um, sensors and the, um, the idle air control valve's got to pick up from somewhere as well so it'll need a filter of some kind on it so it might be easier to, to make some kind of an air box, I don't know. So like I said, so many unknowns. But the main thing is to get this bit to fit while we've got an en en empty engine and it's easy to move around. And then uh, if this all goes on, I'll be very happy. Yeah, that, that does fit. Definitely fits. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that looks pretty good. In fact, I think we'll need to get a close-up of that. Right, let's get a couple of close-ups of what we've done here. Uh, we're going to need the flash for that. Right, so there you can see the uh, the intakes in place, the intake adapters. When I say there isn't a lot of room, you can see that it's it's in particular the uh, cam chain tunnel there's only a couple of millimeters to spare on either side of it um, getting the screws in past these nipples I mean I could probably have put them in a different place but I wanted them to be relatively accessible these are obviously the nipples for the idle air control system um, and then uh, yeah the uh, injectors seem to fit the whole rail fits really nicely, they line up really well. Um, I think they look pretty good as well. I think that looks pretty damn awesome. I was considering putting the uh, fuel injectors underneath, but I don't know if, if they'd clear the uh, cam chain tensioner that's not in there at the moment. But, but that looks pretty badass, I think. And uh, very happy with the way that's come out. Very, very happy indeed. Yeah, it does help if you press record. Right, so I'm very happy with that. Um, fits really well. It looks like everything seals really well, so I'm, I'm really happy with that. Um, next next bit of the puzzle, I think, I'm going to get this empty engine into the frame um, and reassemble all of this, and let's just see what sort of space we've got above the engine, below the tank, because I've got to find somewhere for the idle air control to sit and to live. Um, obviously, it connects to these nipples that are mounted on the adapters. 
so but it's going to have to live up here somewhere with some hoses coming down and then also the coils and um, because I'm using the stick coils but I'm just going to mount them with those extension cables um, I've got to come up with some way of mounting them I think it'll be easier to do with the engine in the frame where we know what sort of space we have underneath the tank so um, I'll probably just 3d print the parts for all of that uh, temporarily um, but it, I need to work out if I need to add any more well done tabs or bits to the frame for all of this mounting also these do need to be mounted I mean right now they're just held in place with the uh, hose clamps but I do think that somewhere there needs to be an actual rigid mounting for these I don't want it to just be the whole the hose clamps that holds the whole assembly in place especially if eventually I decide to put an air box on something's got to hold it all together so um yeah I will need to come up with something for that at some point um so yeah next step let's get this in the frame and um and just work out what we're dealing with what kind of space we've got and where everything's going to go so yeah see you then thanks for watching